सो इट्स टाइम फॉर सम प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव फोर क्वेश्चन एंड आउट ऑफ दीज फोर क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑफ फॉर यू यू हैव टू सॉल्व दैम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू कैन राइट योर क्वेरीज इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड वी कैन डिस्कस इट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज फॉर यू यू हैव टू सॉल्व इट these three questions are related to uh, the examples which we have solved earlier in the previous video exactly they are the same but uh, the only change is of the values question number 3 is a different one so we will be solving it in this video question number 1 question number 2 and question number 4 are for you guys to practice and you can pause this video and write these questions and solve it and if you have any query you can write it in the comment box and and we can have a video on then in, uh, in these questions later so we will be solving question number 3 so question number 3 is basically we have a triangle as a base so this is a triangular pyramid and o x y z o x y z is a pyramid a triangular pyramid whose base is a triangle whose base is a right angle triangle whose base he is talking about this the question is talking about this is the base the base of the triangle is a right angle triangle since you can see this sign this is a right angle triangle you can take the side as the base and you can take the side as the height of the triangle or you can take this as the base or you can take this as the height of this triangle i am talking about this triangle not the triangular pyramid the height of the triangular pyramid is 5 meter as it is it is mentioned in the question so i am reading the question again o x y z is a pyramid whose base is a right angle triangle i have colored it where x y is 7 y z is 4 meter given that the height of the pyramid the height of the pyramid is 5 meter we have to calculate its volume so this is our question these are the dimensions so we will start by writing the formula the formula for the volume of pyramid is 1 upon 3 into base area multiplied by height this is the formula for the volume of pyramid volume is equals to 1 upon 3 base area multiplied by height now since i have to calculate the volume so we will be as it is this is 1 upon 3 now i will move at the top and now i will calculate the base area first since the base is a triangle the base is a triangle so the area for the triangle is half base into height so i will write half times base into height this is the base area of the triangle since the base is the triangle so this is the base area this is the base area of this pyramid base area is equals to half times b into h b is the base i i am taking 7 as my base and what is the height of the triangle the height will be 4 you have to remember this thing very carefully this is the height of the triangle which is the base this is the height of the pyramid the, it is it, it is written in the question 5 meter is the height of the pyramid this is the height of the pyramid this is the height of the triangle which will be used in finding out the base area so this two will be cancelled out by this and 2 times 7 will be 14 so the base area is 14 meter square the base area is 14 meter square since this is a triangle so i use the formula half base into height base is 7 and height is 4 you can also take 4 as base and 7 as height it doesn't matter just multiply it the base area is 14 so i will write 14 in place of base area and then i will write my height which is equals to so after putting all the values now i have to take out my calculator 
and uh, this 14 and 5 will be equals to 4, 5, 20, 0, 5, 1, 70, 70 upon 3 and when I will divide 70 upon 3 this is 70, this is 3 3 times 2 is 6 1, 0 3 times 3 is 9 so my answer will be 23 whole number 1 upon 3 and the unit will be meter cube so this is the volume of this triangular pyramid since the base is a triangle so this is a triangular pyramid and uh, the, the data was the height of the pyramid was given to me that is 5 meter and the base the dimension of the base were given to me the diamond the base is a right angle triangle and the two sides were given to me you can take this side as base you can take this side as height first you will calculate the base area and then you will use this value of base area in the formula of volume and we'll find out the volume so now one question number one question number two and question number four is for you guys solve them and if you have any query you can uh, write it in the comment box and we will solve it 